Today we're going to be reviewing the new Godzilla movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters. This movie had so much hype around it from the first trailer that came out in like January. This movie looked so amazing from the trailers that we thought it was going to be this next big amazing Godzilla movie. But it wasn't. It was just a typical Godzilla movie. It, there was nothing special about it. But I liked it. It was good. But it wasn't this mega blockbuster um, masterpiece that was about to come out. It was just a normal Godzilla movie. There's not much to say about it. Um, it's kind of slow at parts, but besides that, it's really fun. It's a fun Godzilla movie. If you want, a fu if you like the 60s and 70s style of Godzilla movie, you're going to love this one. This one does not have that much focus on a plot. It's the plot is very convoluted in this, but that doesn't matter. It's a Godzilla movie. It's just fun and it's really, really silly. The monster designs are some of the best of the series so far, and the CGI was some of the best I've seen this year. It it was insane to see the VFX artist list that had to be at least a few thousand people working on this movie for VFX, and I loved the monsters in this movie. They were just insane. They were great. Sort of the best I've ever seen in the Godzilla franchise. But Godzilla still looks kind of derpy. And King Ghidorah has one of, one of his heads is really stupid, but it's also focused a little too much on the human characters, but it makes a little bit more action to it than 2014 did. It had some of the best action scenes this year, only beaten by John Wick 3, even though John Wick 3 was uh, much worse than this one. And this movie was great. It was fun. It was a turn your brain off and just watch the movie. There was nothing you need to think about it. There's some stupid jump scares in there, but just ignore them. And this film was just so much fun to work with. There's some plot holes like how all the monsters are have these scientific names and one's just Monster Zero. But besides that, this movie's great. It's fun, interesting. And one of the best this year. And that's why I give this one a 7 out of 10.